Hey, and welcome back to Bourbon Blind, where the guys drink what y'all pick. So please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section or email me at bourbonblindtasting at gmail.com. As always, the guys aren't gonna know what they're drinking. They're going to tell you what they think of what's in their glass. They're gonna tell you how much they're willing to pay for it without the hype of the label. And uh, then they'll tell you what the bottle is. And you guys already probably know because the intro always says it first, but they don't. This is Wilderness Trail. And uh, this is the small batch Kentucky straight bourbon. And I'm ex super excited about this. I got to meet Wilderness Trail um, a while back and they were really, really nice people. So, and they really, really, really good bourbon. In fact, I'm going to pour a little bit for myself. I'm gonna go grab another glass. work and then I'm gonna go get the guys so um, if you like what you see tonight go ahead and hit that like and subscribe subscribe button if you love what you see go ahead and go on over to our patreon page uh, see all the goodies that are over there and uh, become a member and you can get uh, spreadsheets that show what bottles uh, did the best and which ones did the worst and all the rest of those fun things uh, we also have t-shirts and bottles and all sorts of different uh, price points and uh yeah so with that cheers drink wine and uh, i'm gonna go get the guys what's up guys welcome back to burn blind i'm kyle i'm nick we taste whiskey we don't know what it is we give you a price to be willing to pay for a bottle without that hype of the label so nick again with us glad boom. to be back my homie boom sauce boom sauce Hashtag boom sauce in the comments. Hashtag boom sauce. So. Whew. It's a little darker than the it's last one we did. A little darker than last week. Last not, week's, yeah. Not not too dark. No, not super dark, it's, but like definitely went from a straw, more of like a golden gold. amber. Yeah. It's a gold, yeah. Solid gold. There's some ethanol in there, but there's also yeah. like some other stuff that's kind of covering up and hiding a little bit. Definitely like some caramel. Almost smell like a, not a charcoal, but like a toasted wood or something, charred wood. It's almost like I can I can yeah. smell the char. I can I can see that like a toasted wood. I get like some light fruitiness, like light fruits, like mm -hmm. uh, apple pear kind yeah. of line of reasoning. Not a not a whole not, lot else. Not a ton left uh, yeah. aside from that. It's not. I mean, it's a it's a nice kind of refreshing almost. Right. Like cucumber water. Legs are kind of thin, running quickly. Yeah. So, not very viscous. It's not gonna have an oily mouth feel, if you will. It may not. It, it may. Mi it might. It I might. could be totally it's... wrong. It's happened before. You can ask my wife. <laughs> she could tell you every time. Every time. <laughs> Ooh, I got a little bit of caramel on that. Yeah. Like occasionally, like one of the sniffs, you'll just kind of like get something will pop up out of there. Yeah, someone will be like, hey, I'm over here. Don't forget about me. Like a little groundhog, like, hey, and then it's back down. Almost almost jumped into it. All right. Well, cheers, guys. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Ooh, cinnamon. Definitely spice. Right. Ethanol, like right on the front of your tongue. Mm hmm. Like at the very tip and nowhere else. The finish is not non-existent, but real close to it. And it almost goes away like right after you swallow it. Right. Ooh. Not picking up too much off of the off the palate. Vague, kind of a vague sweetness and that ethanol that just hangs out in the very front of your mouth and nowhere else. Yeah, like I'm I'm trying to really think about it like Yeah, just there's just not a ton going on. Ooh, it's not good. It's not off-putting or upsetting, but it's no, not... No, not at all. There's that cinnamon, caramel, some vanilla, apples. What's well, like a... Like a baking uh, apple spice. Like, a, like, like a, an apple pie spice. Like apple pie, apple yeah. cobbler kind of... Something like that. It's good. Like the baked apples that you get that are just in that kind of like a jelly almost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
glaze, if you will. Mm, I do like a jelly glaze. Some jelly glaze. <laughs> jelly glaze donuts. <laughs> this is not like a jelly glaze donut. It's not. I wish it was, because those are fantastic. I added some water a couple seconds ago, a couple minutes ago. It kind of killed the nose. It knocked down that ethanol, which I'm thankful for. Yeah, I mean, I, I literally um, just like almost sealed my nose to the glass, like I way in there. And there's almost no ethanol. Mm -mm. Downside it took everything else down in equal proportions. There's just, I'm, I don't know what you, I'm just not picking up hardly anything on the nose. No. After the water, kind of killed it. Just a little bit more of that spiciness, like a uh, cinnamon and baking spice kind of. But it's definitely some, it's not a lot. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. No, it's not overpowering or strong. It's just, it's a very mild level of flavor. Like, the yeah. level of it's good. It's just no depth. Not enough of it. It's not like an onion. There's not layers right. to it. It doesn't just keep unfolding. It's right. It's like a layer. blooming onion. Just, mm, I do love a blooming onion. It's not, <laughs> it's not fried with dipping sauce. It's definitely not that. It's more like just the onion. It's just just an onion. Yeah. It, it is very singular. Again, like it's, it could it could easily be a couch pour. Mm-hmm. You know. Oh yeah. And and you know obviously when we say I, that we don't mean anything bad about it. It just I guess it's something I, I could drink half a bottle in a night with some friends and obviously not by myself or I'd probably die. I'd say probably in that ninety to hundred proof range, baking spices and that kind of flavor profile so it's um, the lightness and kind of lack of depth is almost like and and what i'm picking up out of it what we're picking up out of it is like an apple pie i do find myself keep going back to it though yeah like i want i want more of it like it's 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 interesting in it, that is. it is it's it's not like, it's not like a joseph magnus or a pappy van winkle or or like a you know a George C. Stag where there's just so much and you're just picking it apart. It's just one of those like it'd be a good go to. Right. Like if I can't figure out what to drink tonight, I know that's not going to disappoint me off the shelf. Right. You know, and it's, it's not disappointing. It's fine. Superbly mediocre. Yeah. It's it's real strong like, average. Right. Like a good reliable just. Like there's the difference between the median and the mean. I feel like that's the mean and not the median. Yeah. That is the average of all things and not the exact middle. Yeah. So, um, do you want two, three price? Just a second. Okay. I need just, just another sip or so with it. And just like a second, just hanging out. Okay, I'm ready. Boom. Um,. I'm gonna go on my high side. Okay. So, one, two, three, four. Forty-five. Bucks. Boom! Yeah. Right boom. there. Hashtag boom sauce in the comments. Boom sauce. Bamsis. Bamsis. <laughs> boom sauce. All right. Should we see what this is? Let's see what it is, sir. Mm -hmm. I will let you do the honors. Okay. Mister Captain of the ship. Uh it's we're we're something of the ship. Yeah, we're sinking or something. Who knows? <sighs> Wilderness Trail. All right. So, um... These are some new guys on the block, right? They... It's a new distillery on the block. The okay. people behind the distillery have been in the game for a long time. Um, they were actually the uh, consultants for a lot of new distilleries. Um, they have, like, a few hundred yeast strains in their pockets. Just a few hundred. Yeah. You only need a handful or a few hundred. <laughs> Most... Most distillers only have one, maybe two yeast strains, right. say for Four Roses, which they have five. These guys, they're they really know what they're doing. They did they get deep down in the science. They they know what they're doing. You were right. Um, it is hundred proof. It is. Yep. So um, and one thing really cool about this is their bourbon goes into the barrel at a hundred and ten proof, and their rye goes in at a hundred proof into the barrel, which okay. is 
a lot more expensive to do, but a lot of people say you get a lot better flavor by doing it that way. The amount of water versus alcohol and that interaction with the walls of the barrel is different. Um, obviously, if there's a lot of, say you have pure alcohol, you're gonna have different interactions with the barrel and it's gonna pull different things out of the barrel than you would with pure water. So obviously the ratios that you do that in will pull out different flavors of the barrel, so. I know that uh, Michter's does a lower barrel proof, mm -hmm. or barrel entry proof, uh, but it's not quite as low as Wilderness Trail. Uh, I think it's 103. Is Oh yeah, okay, so it's a little bit um, lower than, than Wilderness Trail. For their bourbon, but not their rye. Right. Because their rye goes in at 100 proof, so. Um, yeah, I think this is aged at least four years. Let's see, it, uh, it's Kentucky straight, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's at, at least, least two. two. It's bottled and bond, so it's at least four, so it's okay. 100 proof. Um, what I think is cool is they've got the outline of the state of Kentucky. I don't know if you can zoom in on that uh, when you're doing the processing. I but will. The Boom. State of Kentucky outline in the barcode, which I think is pretty neat. Um, and also they do a sweet mash instead of a sour mash, which means they don't use back set from... Uh, the last distillation, they start a brand new yeast um, in the fermentation every time. I mean, they use the same yeast strain and culture right. and everything, but they start a brand new one every time. Which I think it's a little bit more expensive to do that way. It is. Um, and this is also non shell filtered for you NCF fans out there. So, that, that I mean, they, bottled and bond, 100 proof, distilling it themselves. Um, Low bar low barrel entry proof. I mean, they're they're checking all the boxes. They know what they're doing. Some of our newest Patreon members um, that we absolutely appreciate every single one of you guys. Uh, newest Patreon members: Frederick Frazier, Marco Cavada, John Wilhoy, and John Milburn. We appreciate every single one of you guys. You guys are our newest Patreon members. Can't thank you guys enough. All of our current and past Patreon Patreon members, absolutely love you guys. Um, seriously, you. You make this all awesome, um, as well as everyone in Bourbon Blind Nation. Um, you guys are all awesome, too. Keep up the awesome work. And um, anything else that is awesome. Yeah. Don't forget all... to keep posting up those challenge coins. Yes. Challenge some guys coins. have had some really strong luck with those challenge they coins. They really have. It's kind of taken on a yeah. life of its own. Yeah. Watching um, uh, watching some of the, the bottles people have been able to pick up with their challenge coins has been really awesome. It's, it's pretty uh, crazy. Um, everyone... Um, believe in what you will and um, magic coins yeah they, they get their coin in then the next day they go into their local liquor store and got um, they got some bottle right crazy awesome allocated bottle bottle so believe in what you will but um, it's bourbon it's blind crazy. is making dreams come true sir boom um, this is definitely a distillery to keep your eye on yeah um, in the next few years they are going to be big overnight yeah. I almost guarantee it. Now the big question is, what is retail on this bottle? I think right about forty five bucks. So, I'm totally comfortable with it at forty five bucks. Yeah. I have no problem I'm, with that. If if yeah. I took that home and, and took a sip of it, you know, obviously fresh crack aside, because right. you can't really ever judge a bottle on fresh crack, mm -hmm. but uh And as you can see I've I've enjoyed this bottle. A yeah, yeah, little, little bit less than half left. <laughs> uh but you know, it's it's a cool looking bottle. They've got a pretty good juice in it. Like, I got no problem with that they're, at forty five bucks. They're doing everything right. Yeah, and they're not charging eighty to a hundred bucks for it for a craft. Um, and some of these product. craft distilleries that want eighty to a hundred dollars for a, a bottle that I've never heard of, and they have it's one year old and right is. I mean, you do you, but you know. Right. For me, when there's people like this or uh, New Riff or, mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, they're, they're smaller distilleries. They're putting out a good product, but at the same time, um, they're, they're doing everything right. So that, that's all I got to say about that. So, yeah. I mean, I feel like there's, there's a handful of craft distilleries that I know of that, like there's Wilderness Trail and there's mm -hmm. the one close to us in Huntsville, Irons One, that they do, like, you know, they're super small batch and they don't do huge barrel releases mm -hmm. and stuff like that but they've got their price point under 50 bucks a bottle right people are a lot more likely to buy their stuff at to risk and 40 to 50 bucks a bottle rather than risk 90 to 100 dollars a bottle which i think for me is one of the big um so if i see a new bottle on the distillery shelf right and it's at um 
new distillery, never heard of it, see it on the shelf for mm -hmm. uh, 25 bucks. I'm going to kind of wonder, like, what are you guys cheaping out on? Yeah, that, why is that so cheap? Right. Um, and again, this is just in my head. There's absolutely zero scientific basis for this. Um, we know there's bottles all the time under uh, 25 bucks that are delicious. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is just the way my brain works standing in the liquor store. Mm hmm um, under like 25 bucks and under, I'm going to wonder where you're cutting corners and why is that so cheap? Right. But at the same time, if it's 90 to a hundred dollars and I've never heard of you before, I'm going to wonder why I'm, you feel like you are worth 90 to a hundred dollars. Right. And I'm probably not going to buy that bottle because I'm not willing to risk a hundred dollars on something I've never even heard of before. Mm -hmm. So I really think that that like that 40 to $60 price range is the really sweet spot for something that is. New to market, but premium, and you know what I mean, like that's or or at least new to market. Like I'm, I'm willing to risk forty to fifty bucks on a bottle, and not like it. Right. Like I'm totally fine putting a fifty dollar bottle as a mixer if I don't like it. Yeah. A hundred dollar bottle. You start feeling bad about yourself. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna question some choices that have led me up to this point in my life, but. No, Wilderness mm -hmm. Trail's doing some good work. There's there's a couple of, of those craft distilleries out there that are doing some good work at, at fair prices. Yeah. Uh, and there's a ton of them out there that are doing questionable work at unreasonable prices. Right. So, Wilderness Trail, definitely keep it up. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And um, t-shirts at Teespring, like this one. And like and this, this one. this one. Boom. Um... Patreon, uh, Facebook, Bourbon Blind Nation, boom. Um, yep. Patreon, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Facebook, all that kind of stuff is everything pretty much at Bourbon Blind. YouTube. Um, We're on YouTube. You, what? It's a new thing. We're checking it out. All right. See right. how it works. I, I, this is new news to me, but Stay you know. tuned. We'll let you know. So, Wilderness Trail's knocking it out of the park, man, and... It's distilled, aged, and bottled in Kentucky, so, you know, they're doing their own yeah. stuff, and they're not sourcing, which I have nothing against sourcing, but no. but they're... They're putting out their own product, and they're standing behind it, and it's good. Yeah. So, kudos to them. And hopefully, they get to do a couple of, like, experiments, and check, check out some uh, off-the-shelf stuff, like, the, you know you might not normally yeah. think of and hopefully they they do some experimentation i always hope but hope that the craft distilleries do something kind of experimental with finishing staves and stuff like that but we'll see yeah yeah <laughs> cheers sir cheers thanks for having me back again i look forward to it absolutely man maybe we'll have you on next week maybe we'll see the world is your oyster the more you know the more you know star <laughs> Until Friday, noon central, next week, cheers and drink blind. Blindly drink. <laughs>